Welcome back to The Price of Business. This is William Edmondson filling in for Kevin Price. And we've got Chris Kidd with us in the studio. Chris Kidd is, of course, with Chris Kidd Enterprises. And uh, we were talking the last segment about options. And uh, we're going to move on to another topic for this for this segment. <laughs> so uh, what, what would you like to talk about? <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's it's been a really interesting uh, political season. Uh I, I worked at one of the uh, election polls uh, this week, and I worked uh, on, a, at a Republican voting station, a uh, Republican precinct, and man, it has really turned out the voters. Yeah, it's, uh, man, politics, woof, that's, <laughs> now my blood's going to start boiling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. That's, that's one of those uh, topics that gets really crazy. Yeah, there's been... Uh, it seems like there's a lot a lot of people who are involved getting involved uh one way or another mm-hmm. at, at you know right now with uh and it's a, a very interesting uh race i mean it, even on both sides the the democratic side uh this week was not uh i mean it was quite a landslide but on the republican side it's uh it's quite a battle being fought they are duking it out and they are pulling out all the stops the calling the names talking about People's hand size. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's it's something like I, I don't think I've ever seen before. It's really kind of ugly. Yeah, that's that's really the thing I hate about politics is how ugly it gets, and especially when uh, I've never liked the whole deal about okay, this is my team, so I'm going to do what you know the Republican Democrat deal, and I'm going to go with them just because they're on my team. Uh, versus you know this is what I believe, this is what I think's right, this is best for you know the country. Um, but when it's in the primary stuff, I mean, it's like, okay, well, you guys still have the same goal at the end, no matter who wins this, but you're going to trash each other, bash each other and, you know, tear, tear each other's limbs off. Uh, (laughs) I mean, it, it is, it's like, uh, it's like a cage match in wrestling. Yeah. And then, and then after all of this, they're going to come endorse one another or whoever, you know, gets the nomination, um, Everybody else is going to come endorse them and then try to talk good about them. And uh, let's forget about all the other stuff that I said just right. a couple months ago. For, forget I commented about how he does this or that. And then on top of that, they're going to want to they're going to want a key position in the in the new administration. Oh yeah, and that's that's what it's all about. Everybody, it's uh, the the whole political game. And I, I really think that that's why uh, Trump has really done so well is because people are so sick of politics. Um, they're, they're sick of politicians and we know that really whatever comes out of their mouth is, I mean, kind of like that joke, how do you know a politician's lying? Their mouth is moving. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, and it, it's not limited to the Republican side because, oh, no, absolutely not. You, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's funny cause Sanders, I mean, he's going up against the, the Clintons and that machine. Speaking I mean, of lying, you know, <laughs> they've, they've, they've got it down, you know? And uh, it, it is. It's going to be really interesting because once it's down to one person on each side, and unless somebody spins off and does a third party, you know, you're right. We've we've got everybody making up and trying to get back in the game. So I think that's why a lot of people, uh, at least younger people uh, that I've talked with, have kind of gravitated uh, on the Democrat side, have gravitated towards Bernie Sanders, is also because the the whole deal, kind of like Trump. Uh, you know he's been involved in politics for a long time though but uh at the same time he's you know he's been whether it is you know honesty or an act and he just has tuned into what people uh where they're at uh he understands people are sick of politics and sick of the the stuff that's done under the table and and everything so uh i i think people are, are or at least some of these people are that are running are tuning into that and understanding, you know, the American people are really sick. No question. And, I, you know, I think I think on both both parties, the, the voters are, are just tired of people, <clears throat> of politicians saying, I'm going to do this, and then they get up to Washington, and it's, it's like they get a lobotomy. I mean, you know, everybody, <laughs> everybody keeps, d- does the same thing. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of those things. Everybody makes promises before they go into office and then once they go into office it's like uh what was that that you said oh no no that that was just so i could get elected that i didn't actually mean that i was really going to do that <laughs> that's right yeah i was i was i was just 
speaking. Yeah, I misspoke. <laughs> oh, I like how they how they often say that. Yeah, it, it's uh, my first ninety days. This is going to be done. This is going to be done. This is going to be done, and you know, a, a term or two is over with, and you're still working on it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I think they forget when they're making all these promises that things don't move that quickly in Washington, whether you oh, want yeah. them to or not. Yeah, there there's hangups on everything and back to the whole political game stuff. I mean, there's things that one side will vote for and and then it won't go through, but then the other side will uh come up with an idea that's, you know, basically the same and then they won't vote for it the next time because oh well, it, the other team presented it and we don't want them to get credit for doing something and you know, they really the one deal, and it's not an endorsement for Trump, but the the uh, the one deal with him, and, and it, business is different than politics because in business you have to work together, or you know, <laughs> the company goes under and you don't get paid. And you know, in government, they can just sit there and fight all day and still collect their paychecks. So exactly, and you know that that is that is important, and I think there are too many career politicians that we see because they go there and they're. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is they don't get reelected. It's not yeah. like they're, like you say, it's not like they're going to starve or, or. And then they've got uh, their sweet like retirement that. package. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good benefits, good retirement package, and all of that. But uh, no, it 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 certainly has been an, an interesting political season, and I'm sure that, I'm sure that there'll be some more things that we haven't seen before that'll pop up here <laughs> or there. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, if you if you would uh, switching off of politics. Uh, I was very interested in in reading on your website, reading a little bit about uh, about your bio and uh, the discipline that you had even at an early age um, with money, uh, saving it. Uh, you know, really, um, you know, doing the the old college diet of ramen noodles and 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 water <laughs> to you know to save your money and and put it towards towards a business. Uh, are, are those principles that have really helped you in business? Oh yeah. Um... Really, the it all comes down to you know, delayed gratification. And uh, my mentor, one of the things that he taught me early on was the longer you can delay your gratification, the greater that grat- gratification will be down the road. So um, my goal actually at that time was I wanted to be a millionaire by the time I was 25. Uh-huh. So um, I, I basically had the mindset that if I will follow this plan and – I'm not going to think of anything except for reinvesting every single dollar that I have, and I'm not going to spend anything that's not going to come back one way or another. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously we have to eat, so you need you know for fuel, so you know you can function. Uh, so that was where the the ramen noodles and the dollar pizza stuff came from because I needed fuel, but I didn't need right. filet mignon. So um, even when I got to a point of when I could afford that stuff. I still didn't do it because I wasn't at my goal yet, and I was still working towards that. Uh-huh. Um, and then ended up uh, accomplishing that uh, by the time I was 24. So I, I beat my my time frame by a little bit. But uh, there was actually one night I had a couple of my roommates together. We wanted to go, uh, or they wanted to go get some movies. They wanted to rent a couple of movies for the night. And I said, well, okay, but I'm not putting my money in. I've, you know, I've, Pretty much spent my budget for the week that uh, that I had, uh-huh. um, and I said I'm not I'm not taking any of my extra money, a couple bucks to go over in a movie. And they're like, "Dude, you could buy this movie store. Um, <laughs> wh- why why can't you just uh, put in a couple bucks?" I'm like, "Well, that's not going to take me closer to my goal." That's right. <laughs> that's right. It, it's going away from the goal. Yeah, it's funny, but yeah, the the discipline is is really hard for a lot of people and. You know, with with marketing like it is, and and people living the lifestyles that they live all around us, it's really hard to to put things off. So, um, yeah, man, kudos to you, and uh, uh, clearly it's it's paid off well for you and and for your business. Well, we've uh, we've managed to talk through a through a whole <laughs> segment and cover lots of things. So some some more fun than than uh, others, but uh, both very interesting. But that wraps it up for today's Price of Business show. And check us out on priceofbusiness.com and read more about our radio show and our new Price of Business TV show, which airs on Sunday nights. And check us out at usdailyreview.com. This is William Edmondson for Kevin Price on The Price of Business. <laughs> <laughs>